Every gardener knows that healthy soil starts with earthworms. These tireless workers aerate, decompose and fertilize your soil better than any tool or product on the market. But here's a question that stirred curiosity among composters and regenerative growers alike. When it comes to attracting worms, what works faster, cooked rice or uncooked crushed rice? It's an experiment worth understanding, because the way we feed our soil life can make or break the entire ecosystem underground. So let's dig deep into the science, the practice, and the results that show which form of rice worms love most, and why. Rice, whether cooked or raw, is rich in carbohydrates, essentially stored energy for soil microbes. When added to compost or soil, rice doesn't feed worms directly. It feeds the bacteria and fungi that worms love to eat. So, the key here is finding the form of rice that supports microbial growth without spoiling too quickly or, you know, creating those anaerobic, smelly conditions. When microbes thrive, worms follow. Their movement through the soil not only aerates it, but also spreads microbial life deeper, creating rich, crumbly humus and a thriving soil food web. So, the goal isn't just to feed worms, it's to feed the microscopic community that sustains them. Cooked rice is a fast-acting attractant. The starches have already gelatinized through cooking, which makes them instantly available to bacteria and fungi. When you bury a handful of cooked rice under mulch or soil, you'll often see worms moving in within just a few days. However, the downside is that cooked rice breaks down too quickly. Within a week, the fermenting starches can start to sour, turning the environment anaerobic. That's when you get unpleasant odors, maggots, or even mold patches that repel worms instead of attracting them. If you're using cooked rice, moderation is everything. A small, thin layer, no more than a handful mixed into moist soil or compost, is perfect. It jumpstarts microbial life, triggers early worm activity, and can be repeated every few weeks as part of a regular feeding cycle. In essence, cooked rice acts like an espresso shot for your soil. Powerful, quick to stimulate life, but gone fast if overdone. Uncooked crushed rice is a completely different story. Its structure breaks down slowly, providing a long-lasting food source for microbes and worms alike. When crushed into smaller particles, not powder, it exposes just enough surface area for bacteria and fungi to colonize gradually. You know, the Amish and traditional Korean natural farming methods often use uncooked rice for this reason. It ferments cleanly when mixed with moisture and organic matter, avoiding those foul odors. In worm beds or compost piles, it actually maintains balance over time, encouraging slow, consistent worm migration and breeding. After about two to three weeks, you'll notice a visible increase in worm castings near the area where the rice was buried. By then, the microbes will have colonized it fully, and worms will be feeding heavily on both the rice fragments and the microbial biofilm coating them. If you're after fast attraction, cooked rice wins, worms show up sooner because microbial activity spikes immediately. But, if your goal is sustained soil health, uncooked crushed rice is the better choice. It provides a stable carbon source, reduces odor issues and supports a balanced microbial ecosystem that keeps worms active for longer periods. A smart gardener can combine both, use a small sprinkle of cooked rice to wake up the microbes, then mix in crushed uncooked rice for longer lasting nourishment. Together, they create an environment that both microbes and worms love. Fast stimulation followed by slow, steady feeding. First, crush raw rice lightly using a mortar or grinder until it's coarse, not powdered. Then, mix it into the top few inches of moist soil or compost, about one handful per square foot. Next, for cooked rice, use it sparingly. Half a handful mixed into the top layer, then cover with mulch. And finally, Keep the soil moist but not soggy to prevent fermentation or mold. So, 
After about two weeks, you'll want to lift the mulch and, well, you'll likely spot worm tunnels and castings. These are, honestly, some of the best signs of a thriving soil ecosystem. In the world of soil health, worms don't just follow food, they follow balance. Cooked rice might cool them in quickly, but uncooked crushed rice, well, that actually keeps them around. By understanding how different organic materials break down, you can build a living soil system that, you know, feeds itself naturally, season after season. So before tossing out that extra rice, just think about your worms. They might just thank you with the healthiest, richest soil you've ever grown in. If you found this guide helpful, subscribe to Gentle Herb Living for more regenerative gardening wisdom. And hey, share this with a gardener who's ready to start feeding the soil the smart way.